Hey guys, thanks for watching Dee Dee Coy with My Favorite Groomer on YouTube. So I know that some of you have had struggles uh, playing around with the YouTube channel and I hope to just kind of streamline it for you and make it a little easier on what I have on my channel. So here we are, we're on YouTube together. So you go to youtube.com and up at the top I've already typed it in there, My Favorite Groomer. Once you've subscribed, then you may see notifications in your email that makes you you click on that that makes you go right to the video you want to watch so that's a whole different situation but you can subscribe and then edit your subscription so that you get notifications or not it's totally up to you so once we've hit my favorite groomer in here type that in there hit enter so now I'm on uh, DD's channel and let's just go to the first video here up at the top right of that little video, and I hope you guys can see this. This little video, all these videos, right? It's a, they're they're in order. Um, this little video at the top right, or all of them, just when. So you're sitting here, it's not there. If you put your cursor over the video, it starts to play a little bit usually. And then that little clock, if you click that, you'll save it to a playlist of your own called "Watch This Later." Okay, and I'll see if I can show you where that's at. You have to go to yourself. I'm not signed in here, so you're not going to see that, but go to your your name and go to your channel, I believe, and then go to your playlist. So you can see later, I want to watch this later. It's going to be a folder that exists within your own YouTube, okay? So I'm going to, I have to be signed in to do that. So sign in, make sure you're signed in. This is just a demo, so I'm not signed in anywhere here. So here's all the videos. Now up where it says My Favorite Groomer, underneath you see the subscribers. You also see 643 videos. Click on 643 videos. It doesn't look like you can click there, but click on that. And you can push pause here. Once it's th things start playing, hit push pause. You don't have to listen to it if you don't want to. Um, now... We are within the channel, and I want you to click on videos up here. Now, if I ever say, go look for the ear flushing video, many, many of you email me, so this is why I'm even doing this. If I say, go look for this, okay, and I have emailed so many people this exact scenario, go watch all the Shih Tzus. Go watch ear cleaning. There's more than one. So right here, once you, let me go back, okay? Let's go back. Here's the main place where you did youtube.com slash my favorite groomer or youtube.com. And in that search box at the very, very top, you type in my favorite groomer. This comes up. Now you click on, you know, this is my favorite groomer, 643 videos. Click on that. I'm going to push pause. I don't have volume up, so you're not going to hear anything. Click on this videos right here. This is all the videos. It keeps going. Boom, 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 boom. Clicked on videos. Now there's a search right here. There's also the search here. This is searching all of YouTube. This is searching this channel. Okay, so click on that. Now type in ear. Enter. This is every ear flushing video, ear cleaning video I have. If I named it properly. Okay, there might be something I don't name. Look at all these ear videos. There's more, it stops probably right here. It stops probably right here, you know what I'm saying? Okay, so I'm sc scrolling. So let's just get out and go back to the top. This is how you search within my channel. That's how you're gonna find. Let's go back now. Let's just uh, highlight that and type in S-H-I-H-T space T-Z-U, Shih Tzu. Boom. All the Shih Tzu grooms, if I named it Shih Tzu, or if I named it, the comments had Shih Tzu, not comments, if the description had Shih Tzu in there, it's in there. All these Shih Tzu videos, okay? Now, I want to show you something that I've been working on slowly. I have a client, uh, Kayla, thank you so much. If you find Kayla on her channel, she has actually created playlists for every video I have. She spent a lot of hours doing that. So if you've seen her comments, you can go under her 
as a person on YouTube and look at her playlists. They're all categorized in her own way. So we started categorizing, or I started categorizing our playlists. I'm not even halfway through, but it's slowly been able to bring stuff over into my own playlist. So here in my channel, click on playlist. And these are the ones I started doing. I'm going to have a large breed grooming playlist, matted grooming playlist, Shih Tzu, cat grooming pup, and this is going to be loaded more later. I'm slowly building them now. And all of my videos will be in there. Organized. Okay, so if you just have a Shih Tzu and that's all you want to watch, you can just go, wa go watch that. But it's not made yet. Okay, not all of them are made yet. There's a, a, like one video in each one so far. <laughs> I'm slowly working on that as I continue doing everything else. Okay, so let's go back. You can do arrow back. Here again, that little, if you just, it's not there if you don't cursor over it, but if you cursor over it, there's gonna be a clock there. You wanna watch it later, that's what that does. I wanna watch it later, click that, okay? Let me see if there's anything else I wanna tell you all about. Okay. Yeah, so there's, there's some serious videos in here. Okay, on this side of the channel, if you haven't, if you're logged in and you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. That really helps us grow. YouTube, that's part of what YouTube helps us grow with. Subscribe here. If you want to subscribe to support us, but you don't want a bunch of emails, either inside the email letting you know I have a new video, either in there you can edit, you can click on some links and change your notifications, or you should be able to go under your sign in here Excuse me. If you just ho if I was signed in, you would hover over your name and go to settings and then go through the settings area and adjust your notifications of what you want to be notified about. Okay, so that still helps us if you do the subscription. And then if you don't know when you are supporting a channel, mine or any others, if you like some of those other channels like I do, if you subscribe and you want them to get credit for your time watching, watch those ads. To me, I kind of compare it to my favorite show, 60 Minutes or 2020. I love watching those shows. But you know how many commercials I go through watching it on regular TV? Well, it is what it is. That's how that television station has to make money. So watch the ads. <laughs> okay. Now, I don't know if I want to split this off. I may have two videos, but that is how you're going to navigate through my favorite groomer on YouTube. If you are, If you click on this video... One last thing here. While you're in the video, I'm going to hit pause so you don't get, we can just focus. Oh, yeah, yeah. Let me go through this a little bit before I quit on you guys. Okay. You can like it. You can dislike it. You can share it. Please share the video. If you have Instagram or Facebook or Twitter or whatever, you can hit share and share it. Just say, I really loved that video. I want other people. Just hit share. And then right now, that's one of my links to, let's just say, probably Twitter. And right there, I just hit escape to get out of there. Just back that out. Just get that off my screen because I'm not going to share it right now. But if you hit share, you can type in, I love DD. Please subscribe if you want to watch serious animal grooming, okay? And then share it on your Facebook. I would, I would really like that. Then right here, you have like, don't like, share. And then you have lines with a plus. That is you adding it to your own playlist. You won't even have a playlist exist unless you do add. You're signed, you have to be signed in, and it's gonna go add to a new playlist. And you can name it My Favorite Groomer, because it's your channel, it's your, not your channel, but your own YouTube. Just name it whatever you want to save all your favorites inside there, okay? And then when you're done, you go to your name up here, go to channel, and then click on your own playlist, and then you can watch your own playlist that you've created. Over here, these little dots, uh, you can do add translations if you're not in our country USA and uh, I get this a lot if you're in Japan or a different country and you need translations at we have added many translations to our videos this is where you're going to translate down at the bottom it may not be perfect it is still electronic program translating it'll give you at least kind of what I'm saying it'll translate everything I'm saying down at the bottom here so you can do add translations for those of you who are watch watching from a different country and we learned that because we were requested. People brought it to our attention that we really needed to have translations for them. So those that exists. Also, when you're watching the video, so you have your to you have your title, you have how many views it's had. Please subscribe again. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Then you have this stuff. 
here. It's writing things I've written here or copied and pasted on each video. Links will be here, phone numbers will be here. People that uh, credit for things that we do, if, I'm, if I need to do that, will be here. You can do show more right there, okay? And then you'll see a lot more. Hey, Sucky, my little Sucky girl's at my feet. Come here, you wanna sit with mommy? You wanna watch TV with mommy on the computer? Say hey, you guys. Say hey, you're on camera. Yeah, mm, you're wagging your tail. There you are working, girl. Okay, Faith, I love you too. She's on the bed. All right, so down here, right there, it was says, right here, it's, it's in gray. It says show less. Click that and get it out of your way. Show more. There's more, right? There's some site, uh, some links in there. Anything I want to say, that kind of thing. Okay. Now you can do, you can come down and read people's comments. If you haven't figured that out yet, you can leave a public comment right here. Okay. Let me go back. Let me push pause. And, oh yeah, yeah, there's more, girl. <laughs> All right, here's more. There's more to talk about. Okay. Now, if you're on my channel, and let's just say you are going to fall asleep to my channel to make sure that you kind of devote time to my channel. This is a, it's this personal request here. You can go autoplay up here. Autoplay means it will autoplay videos that come up next here. And if you hit autoplay within a channel, you honestly should be getting videos only within my channel playing over and over and over. I know many of you fall asleep watching us and while you're laying in bed. <laughs> Okay, so you can do that. Make sure you got autoplay here. Now, let's go back. I'm just kind of scrolling down, looking at these on the right. All these different videos that I have on my channel. And you can go all the way down. And a lot of places, you're going to, even on my shopping channel, I'm going to show you. You go all the way down. Don't forget to see Show More it, on many, 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 many pages. I get this a lot. Okay, scroll all the way down. If you are one to really stick up for me on this, on the trolls or the haters, great. I love you for that. But, but I want to just mention real briefly, if you're going to get into a battle, just type in delete. Just type in please delete and I will Google, I'll uh, search my channel deletes and I'll see if anyone's being really bad haters and I will delete that, that stuff. So just write in, comment right here. Not there, but let's just say it's going to be, let me go back. Let's just say... Me and Bernie are getting going back and forth and he's being really mean. Just type in reply to him and go delete or delete this bully and I will take care of it. I don't, I can't have time to babysit all day long and that kind of thing, but I will search for delete and I will know that you have been picked on and I don't like that. Okay. I don't like to be picked on. I don't like people to be picked on and I'm for damn straight going to stick up for somebody. So enough of that. Now autoplay. And I want to say, if you're on my channel, okay, if you're on my channel, let's go back, video, I'm going to click, here's that main channel, looking at this My Favorite Groomer channel, there is sometimes you will see, over here at the right, by the way, there's a sort by, and remember, there's two searches, this one and that one, this little one is in, within the channel you're watching. You can sort by most popular, date added, the oldest, and date added, the newest. Okay, so if you're binge watching, you can go date added, the oldest, and start backwards. Okay, and really watch really old stuff back here. And then when you click on that to watch it, it should, let's see if it does. There's some stuff here that's not mine, so this is just kind of going to pop up here on the right. But you can do autoplay up to this channel for this channel up here at the right again okay let me go back yeah man I got some really old ones so let me sort by again the newest okay okay here we go some channels will have like right here this first one will be a playlist and it'll say a number like 50 that means that in that click you're gonna go back to back videos 50 of them over and over okay in mine you could do this right here if you want to constantly do it, if you want, if you have this on your TV, you can actually, if you don't have, if you didn't know that, you could put this on your TV with a, the right cord. Okay. Ask some friends for some help, or you have a smart TV. Nowadays, a lot of TVs are smart. You can just pull YouTube up there, sign in on your TV with YouTube and then get that channel up and then just play all right. That's the binge watching there. But right here you hit play all. 
okay? And now it's just gonna have its own playlist. Of okay, you guys, so I got cut off as silly ran out of space okay so we were on my channel oh no right here you're gonna click play all okay you click play all within my channel and then you're actually gonna have your own this whole playlist is just gonna play back to back so it's gonna uh, these are uploads from my favorite groomer it's gonna this is one of 646 and it will just keep playing okay as long as you don't have let's just say you're on your phone as long as you don't have like a sleep mode or something like that that's gonna pop up in 15 minutes so go change your settings if you're gonna play it all all night long all right so this is um, just us I really wanted to I have a lot of I don't know what you can see here but I have a lot of folks who have asked a lot of questions when it comes to can you see my Zaki Maki I think she knows when I'm recording dude seriously I have lots of folks that are on my channel, and what really is important is being able to search within my channel, uh, build your own playlists if you're going to be grooming your pets yourself, and then just know how to navigate it, know how to watch the, I know you guys don't know some of this, so some of the tip tricks and everything for watching a channel and watching back to back, or that way you don't have to keep doing this. You might hit the advertisements and watch through those, right? But you'll be able to just watch back to back because I have so many videos if you're going to binge watch. What I noticed a long time ago is that I'd be like, oh, this isn't even that channel anymore. It just started playing all kinds of stuff. So this is a good way that you'll know how to play back-to-back -back videos of our channel. We just love our babies, don't we? We just love Saki. Okay, I love you too, Faith. All right, thanks for watching Didi Core with My Favorite Groomer on YouTube. This is how you navigate our through our YouTube channel. And right now we're going to do a back-to-back -back video and go back. And I'm going to show you how to navigate our online store. So thank well... I gotta say, um, maybe there's some light here. So I just was crying because I found out Molly had passed away. And Molly was, uh, if you've watched some of Molly's videos, uh, she was a unpredictable baby, but I still made such a deep connection with her. And I think when I pet sit, uh, that coming into their home environment really, like, really grows a deep bond we spent a lot of time together, um, whether she was laying beside me while I was on a treadmill at their house or uh, they found me because of her aggression issues and just uh, um, unpredictableness. So some pets that you don't know they're going to bite and she's like, hey, and all of a sudden she's like, Arr! you know, <laughs> like, but oh, uh, she just passed away. And the other day it was, uh, I want to say Wednesday or Thursday night. Thir afternoon it was still daylight and the pet mom which I'm very close to the I, I've been the only pet sitter they ever had in her whole life and this is towards the end of her life so that's how many vacations they took when they owned owned Molly and I hope you guys can see what I'm see me talking the the phone call was uh, she sent me a text message about Dee Dee what do you think about this okay so Molly had was in in the ki in the hallway she was walking delirious a little bit looked like she was drunk looked like she was like Rrr. walking she said they sent me a video of that and then the next day they decided to go ahead and go to the veterinarian I or that that evening they called the veterinarian I couldn't believe their veterinarian Broadway Animal Clinic out here in Fort Worth Texas Halton City Texas area wow I was like that's an awesome vet right cuz they like went in it was 650 and they had already closed and I was like, wow, what an amazing veterinarian. They actually went in and met them at the clinic after closed hours. I, li I really like stuff like that because that's, that's kind of how I, I do. I do that for especially clients I've known for a long time. So they had been going to that veterinarian clinic for a long time. That's, but it was a diff different vet that had changed. Even though it had changed, they still met her, okay? And I, the next day, I think it was, is when they texted me. She had given me the videos. You text a lot when you're sad, okay? You're gonna, you're gonna text a lot versus get on the phone. When your pet's getting ready to cross the rainbow, it's just heavy on your heart. Um, you're gonna text more than you're gonna get on a phone call, okay? But I've known Barbara, and I don't mind, if we were both crying, I don't mind getting on the phone. I mean, I would, I would do anything for Barbara. She's a great person. And her husband's a great man, and I love their babies, their fur babies. And she, 
we had a, a spook a few times now with their cat, uh, not maybe uh, cr crossing the rainbow soon, right? So this is interesting that, you know, Molly went first. And just, I was crying, man. I was just doing a video with, for you guys on about YouTube and I just stopped and just started crying because I had checked my, I was getting my phone ready to do the next video and I saw the news. So, it was Wednesday night, I think, or Thursday. Mom texted me and I stopped what I was doing and I got her on the phone and I said, look, uh, my opinion is the dog may be having st a stroke or have had a stroke or ha is having multiple strokes. Or my opinion is the pet may have undergone a heart attack or a really bad seizure. And when there's seizure, sometimes there's brain trauma and then they're delirious. Okay. And this might now, go this has never happened really before. So this may now continue because of old age just all of a sudden something just happens and it, and it happens and it could have been like right there where she was laying before dinner so they take her to the vet they put the vet puts her on IVs kept her overnight by this time that has already happened she's already been overnight at the veterinarian and by the time I talked to because I mean I, I didn't get the news first okay you go to the vet first usually you're not usually calling your groomer okay so by the time I read the text message, which I replied immediately, um, I had to, I, I just literally was like, get her home. I said, you should get her home. And this is, a, this is a judgment call on my part. If my pet was having a seizure and I went to the vet and we got IVs and you just got IV and you, they have medicated the pet to be more like sleeping, okay? To calm her down instead of having her, having her panic through what she's going through. Now she's alone in the sense of not family. Now she's by herself and in a probably likely in a cage. This is not where I want my pet to be crossing the rainbow, okay? And uh, if you have a pet going through that kind of thing, you can get your vet involved. In my opinion, for my own personal pets, and I know Barbara, like I would say my Barbara's like could be an aunt or something like that. I'm like my aunt, I would treat her like a family member. And I'd like, Barbara, go. I was like, go. I was panicking at that moment. I was like, get over there and get your dog. <laughs> Bring the IV home with you. Talk to your veterinarian about what you need to do to comfort your pet at home. You're going to need to change a few things. Put your pet with some, you know, bedding on a tile floor in case you run into dire, you know, now you're doing senior living care with, for your baby. And I would rather you do that at home than in a, from a cage where you're not even there. I would rather you be able to lean over or lay next to your fur baby during those last days. And that's my opinion. So she gets on the phone with me and she's like basically gung ho about it. And she gets what I'm saying. And sometimes you when you're in it, it's hard to see what's going on. And someone else needs to tell you, hey, this is what I would do. Go do it, right? Because you're crying and you're, and I said, you, the, I always say this and it's really hard, but save the crying for later. Save the crying for now when the pet is gone. Don't have all this crying. And uh, I did it. So I'm telling you, save all that for later because it will come. But while your pet is still here in your arms, battling whatever it's battling, Hug your fur baby. Give your pet that last chicken nugget it loved. You know, those things. Spend time with your baby. Not walking. It is a shut down day. It is you and your dog laying in bed watching TV or you looking at the her face, his face for hours. Just adoring. Just taking in every last moment with your pet. Oh. That's the change that you have to go through in those last few days. In all the years that your pet gave you, that is, the, that is what you give your pet. In the last few days or months that you have your baby, you do. You shut your life down a little bit. You don't go out anymore. You don't go have dinner with friends. You lay with your baby and you just take that spirit in. Because another pet will come along and it will not be... Molly and it will not be your Suey or your Duke or your it will not be that pet and you you got to go step back and go I did the best I could and I loved until the very end one of the things I told her on the phone was that when those time when that time comes do not stop talking okay uh, you this is my opinion I don't know what I just know what I know for whatever reason I believe in and I said in my opinion 
your pet will go through phases of going across the rainbow, that's a figure of speech, and you are going to lose eyesight. You're going to lose uh, a physical ability to do things. You're going to be laying there. You're going to need containment. It may, it may be that. You might need to contain your pet, which means not allowing it the freedom to do. You might have to pin, create a pin. You might need to shut a door and it must be on tile to avoid so much serious cleanup. I've been through it all. I'm like, what can you guys see? I kind of messed up some videos earlier this week. You are going to change some things. If you are sleeping on the bed with your pet and the pet can't jump down anymore, you're going to now bring yourself down to the ground and get yourself a mattress that's on the ground. You're going to change a few things. And this goes for children, too. If you have a child that got sick, you're going to change some things to, so you can be really close to the one you love during the, the time where your pet may pass over, okay? So I told her, I said, don't stop talking. When that transition comes, please, hearing to me goes last. The pet's eyes will roll back in his head. He's letting go. She's letting go. You know, you want to continue talking. I said, walk, talk, walk that pet through. I'm right here, baby. I'm right here. I'm not going to leave you. I'm right here through this whole process, okay? So even if you have to cry and whimper yourself and walk your pet through those last moments, that's my opinion to what to do. So I didn't get a chance to go to see Molly. I, I really wanted to. Um... And finding out the news today, Faith came over to me. Hey, Faith, come here. Come here, you want to come up? Here you go. Come up for me. Oh, yeah. I just love you, Faith. Mm. Ah. Mm. Hi. Mm. What do you sense? Mm. You're so sweet. Mm. I just love you. So, I didn't get a chance to see Molly. Mm. I just love you, too. And I really wish I did because, man, I just started bawling when I just couldn't contain myself. Molly was such a different animal and she was so kind and I couldn't trust her. But there was a connection just beyond what you can just speak in words, just that connection, just deep connection. And I just have to say, I just love Molly and her family and Saki came over to you. Are you guys sensing you? I need your fur loving. Mm -hmm. So thanks for watching my channel and sharing Molly's life with me and what Molly's family shared with me. It's been amazing and um, I ask God to just be with the family and watch over them, hold them, hug them, and just surround them with the Molly spirit. You never know when you're going to lose someone in your life, whether it's human or animal. And I just say, please try to cherish those, those moments with your babies, with the people you love. So, real fast, let's go in. I'm going to pull up. This is how, we were just doing a YouTube video on what to look for. So, this is how you would look for certain things here. Okay, so let's take a look. <sighs> so sad, man. So, on my channel, right, we were just here a few minutes ago. You clicked on, you went to My Favorite Groomer, and up at the top, you click on the videos or you're going to have to keep on clicking. I think it's back this way. Okay. Anyways, you see my favorite groomer. And right below that, it'll be subscribers and the number. And then you'll see videos. Click on videos. And then here I'm going to click on videos. Boom. Videos, right? We're going to have all these videos. And up at the top right, there's two searches. One at the very top and one right below that. Do the one below that. And then type in Molly. Oh, Faith. I just love you. Now we've got Molly here. And tribute to Molly, I adored you and I loved you. And let's just watch this video together here. You and then happy? down down here, you click happy? on the square, make it a big screen. Tell me you're happy, huh? Are you happy? <laughs> Molly. Are you happy? Okay. Press escape and get out of there. And I'm gonna go back. We can see another just Molly. Are you just... done with the groom? Are you done? <laughs> You're so cute. Huh? My heart just hurts. Love her. Okay. So while I go through, I'm going to do another video for you guys right now. But I'm going to be a little sad. So let's just, let's just do it. Let me do this. We'll go back. Oh my goodness, you guys. I'm just like, my, my face and my... Whew. 
just whew, what I do is I say goodbye to a lot of animals because my care is a lot of senior disabled aggressives, right? Uh, they have nowhere else to go. So uh, in my job, one of the things I have to do is say goodbye, and it is is just tough. I don't know how you guys can say goodbye um, to one, you know, because I mean, I can tell you right now, it's really tough. So thank you for watching. Thank you for sharing Molly's life with me. And all right, well, let's go on to the next video. We'll be back. Okay, one of the things I did forget to tell you to do, so let's just click on this video here. And it's a fast video, so hit pause here. So it doesn't keep playing out. And just so I can do this uh, video with you. Whew. Okay, so right here, if you don't want to hear, let's just say it's a blow dry. You don't want to hear a blow dry. Right there is a horn looking thing. Just hit that. It's mute with a cross like a slash that's that means it's muted the video is muted it, I can play it now it won't have any sound okay or hit it again and when you move your cursor it goes away okay move it back you'll also see this round you can click it and slide it this is the volume you can go all the way down to mute okay so a couple ways you can handle the mute right here in the video CC that little CC means closed caption. That means you're gonna have look happy happy. It's gonna it's gonna be you can read it now Let's just say you're at work. <laughs> Not that you should be doing that, but you're at work. It's gonna have It's actually we watch some of our videos on captioning and some of them are just like are you kidding me? That's not right, right? Next one, so I'm gonna take it off closed caption settings now here you're going to be able to, I, some people tell me, DJ, I watch you in like double speed. Look, you can change your speed of how fast this video is going. If you're trying to watch them all and not really listen, you can watch me at like double speed and you can still probably keep up. Subtitles, that's that closed captioning, on or off. The quality. Annotations, auto plays on. So it's going to, you can turn it off. If you don't want it to play anything after this video, you make that call. You want to manually make that call, just hit that off, okay? Come back down here, click that again to remove it from the screen. That's going to be your little tumble. Okay. Then you have theater mode. I don't really use that, but it's widescreen it looks like. Let me t click, click theater mode again. This goes back to default view. And if you just hover over things, you're going to learn a lot of this hover over. Hover over things. As soon as I hovered over this thing, I could see a play and I could see a, a clock. Okay, try that. Hover over. And some things will pop up like this now says share okay hover over I dislike this I like this okay you get it right hover over learn to hover over not in just my channel but all across the internet this last is where I wanted to watch full screen full screen watching the whole video full screen up here it says press escape which is this key on the top left corner of your keyboard to go back to the original view Okay, thanks for watching. That's how you kind of handle the little keys in here. These little icons there. Thanks for watching.